This is Brent with Likens Motorsports, and uh, we're gonna show some updates on our 351 Cleveland build. Apparently, you guys really like the uh, the Cleveland stuff. Uh, the views were a whole lot higher uh, over a smaller frame of time, span of time than some of the other builds. So I'll try and feature some more of the Cleveland stuff as as I get it. But uh, we're looking at. Um, an entire piston and rod assembly. This is the piston with the rings, the pin, the rod, the bearings. It just doesn't have the, the nuts on the top. We're at 1,633 grams for this. Uh, obviously, we had to replace the pistons. Uh, the block will have to be bored or honed. And uh, some of the pistons were, were damaged from what we believe was either detonation or extreme overheating, um, which kind of did some bad things to our rods as well so we're going to be replacing all this so i have uh when we go from factory to aftermarket we want to shed weight and add strength so if we're looking at 1633 grams we should be able to do quite a bit with that um there's not many uh aftermarket cleveland rods out there eagle and i think crower make some uh, the Eagle rod is more in the budget of a street build, and it uses the factory rod journal diameter and the factory wrist pin diameter, but it is a bushed little end. So we're going to use a full floating wrist pin. It's got some uh, 8740 ARP rod bolts, so uh, H-beam design. Um, so it, we're going to be adding a lot of strength and um, the difference. Actually, I don't know why I had 44 grams on there. Let's try this again. Should be a little bit lighter this time. Let me see if I can balance this like I had it before. So how about 1589? So we're gonna be looking at 1589 grams and we're gonna start with uh, the rod, which is about 650 grams um so we got a lot of room to play with normally your aftermarket pistons will be uh, somewhere around 525 grams we'll be using a dish piston next time instead of these uh, flat top with two valve reliefs um we're going to be using a, a, a more modern ring pack design this is a uh, probably a 564 ring and these are fairly heavy and uh, when we go to a, a 1.5 millimeter ring pack, we'll probably go down to about 35 grams or so. So we're gonna be shedding a lot of weight off of, uh, off of this combination and adding a lot of strength and more modern parts to boot. So that's just a little bit of an update and um, hopefully we'll be uh, Checking the block out soon, getting it pressure tested at Magnaflux. Just want to make sure that the cylinders are okay since they were pretty chewed up. Uh, and get the cylinder heads reconditioned and the crank off to the crank grinder. So just a quick update and uh, hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you soon.